All right, everyone, listen up. The meeting is held virtually and held mandatory again because my channel is still demonetized. Also, we have some returning members of my group and new people joining in tonight. So let's get started with the virtual meeting, shall we? All right, the first thing on our list is reading the for affinity terms of service. So Arena, can you start us off? 1. Acceptance and Compliance, Rule 1.1, Upon registering an account on Further Affinity, you agree to abide by all the guidelines provided in this document and any therein, including the Code of Conduct, Privacy Policy, and Upload Policy. By registering an account, using, or accessing our services, you agree to be bound by all the terms and conditions of this agreement. If you do not agree to all the terms and conditions of this agreement you should not, and are not permitted to, use our services. Rule 1.2, Further Affinity reserves the right to enforce these terms via content removal, submissions, journals, comments, etc., account suspension, and account termination at the discretion of its staff. You agree that we are not responsible for any loss of data, information, or financial hardships that may result from us enforcing these terms. In order to investigate claims and comply with local law enforcement, we reserve the right to monitor any communication using further affinity as the medium. We encourage users to back up all their data. Rule 1.3, if for any reason, your account is suspended, banned, restricted, blocked, by users, or otherwise disabled by further affinity, you agree to not create another account with the intent to bypass these limitations without our permission. Any effort to evade these limitations may result in the termination of all current and future accounts you register. Rule 1.4, you agree to comply with all requests made by site moderators. If you disagree with the request, you may ask the site moderator to escalate the issue. And finally, Rule 1.5, you may appeal any action taken against your account either via our trouble ticket system or email appeals, at, furaffinity.net. 2. Modifications to this agreement, Rule 2.1, Further Affinity reserves the right to change these documents at any time, without prior notice, and for any reason. You will be notified of these changes via site announcements. Continued usage of the site after being notified constitutes acceptance and agreement with any changes. You are responsible for reviewing and becoming familiar with and adhering to any modifications to this agreement. And Rule 2.2, we may ask you to review and explicitly agree to a revised version of these terms. In this case, any modifications will be effective at the time of your agreement. If you do not agree, then you are not permitted to use our services and must discontinue using them immediately. In circumstances where you are not asked to explicitly agree, but are instead notified as stated above via site announcement, then the modifications will become effective 14 days, or 2 weeks, after being announced. 3. Account Registration and Usage, Rule 3.1, by registering an account, you agree that you are at least 13 years of age in the US or are 16 if you are a resident of the EU. No individual under the age of 13 may register an account, use our services, provide any personal information to further affinity, or otherwise upload or transmit personal information through our services, name, address, telephone number, email address, etc. Rule 3.2, you agree to provide accurate and truthful information when registering your account. Rule 3.3, you agree not to create an account name that violates our code of conduct by being offensive, racist, or harassing. Rule 3.4, you agree to not transfer your account ownership to another user. Rule 3.5, you agree not to use your account to impersonate individuals or organizations. Rule 3.6, you agree to not use your account to aid any user in circumventing the terms and policies of further affinity. Rule 3.7, you agree that we reserve the right to remove, reclaim, or rename any account for any reason. Rule 3.8, you agree that you are responsible for any activity on your account and that any violations of this document or those therein will be applied to all of your accounts. And finally, Rule 3.9, you agree that while there is no limit to the number of accounts you may create, you and each of your accounts will use further affinities services as intended not to do any of the following. Any member can read the expectations of Rule 3.9 must do it right now. Tamper with, nor use non-public areas of these services. Probe, scan, nor test any of our systems or networks for any reason. Attempt to neither breach nor circumvent any security or authentication measure.
attempt to neither access nor search our services by any means, automated or otherwise, that negatively impacts site performance. Scrape our services, content, or content belonging to those using our services in a way that negatively impacts site performance. Use our services to send altered, deceptive, or false source identifying information, for example forged TCP IP packet headers, email headers. Attempt to, interfere, nor disrupt the access of any user, host or network. Create accounts simply to reserve them and prevent their use by others. 4. User Created Content, Rule 4.1 when you upload content to Ferber Affinity via our services, you grant us a non-exclusive, worldwide, royalty-free, sublicensable, transferable right and license to use, host, store, cache, reproduce, publish, display, publicly or otherwise, perform, publicly or otherwise, distribute, transmit, modify, adapt, and create derivative works of the content. These permissions are purely for the limited purposes of allowing us to provide our services in accordance with their functionality, hosting and display, improve them, and develop new services. These permissions do not transfer the rights of your content or allow us to create any deviations of that content outside the aforementioned purposes. And Rule 4.2, although further affinity can display artistic renditions of adult content, the feature is disabled by default and may only be enabled via your account settings if you are legally allowed to view it in the United States, 18 years of age. If we determine that you may not be legally allowed to access this content, we will restrict your access to mature and adult content until you can verify your age via government photo identification. Any attempt to bypass this measure may result in all current and future accounts registered by you to be permanently banned. And 5. Service and Accessibility, Rule 5.1, our services may change without prior notice to you. We retain the right to create limits on our services at any time with or without notice. We may also impose limits on services or aspects of them or restrict your access to part or all of our services without notice or liability. We may change, suspend, or discontinue any or all of our services at any time, including availability of any product, feature, database, and content, yours or ours. And to wrap up the terms of service rules, Rule 5.2, further affinities services are provided on an as-is and as-available basis. We do not warranty our services or content, yours or ours. You release us from liability concerning the following, any member can read a rule out loud to me in order to wrap up this section. Disputes between you and other users. Acts of third parties. Unauthorized access by anyone to any data communications relating to or content stored under your account. Links posted by users. Issues relating to occurrences that happen at any face-to-face -face meeting that was organized on Fur Affinity or by Fur Affinity, unless expressly disclosed in writing that Fur Affinity is sponsoring the event. Thank you, Sererina, and for everyone for helping her out for additional terms of service rules. Anyways, Lauren Eve Dashe will now read the privacy policy rules. Take it away, Lauren Eve. Thanks, Gabriel. This policy details certain policies implemented throughout Fur Affinity governing collection and use of personally identifiable information about users and guests of our site. We'll start with the privacy policy updates. We reserve the right to update this policy at any time and will notify users of any changes which may impact provided PII. Your continued use of the site and or continued provision of PII will be subject to the terms of the then current privacy policy. Information collection and use. Certain PII is required in order to register an account on the site. This information includes account username, email address, date of birth, IP address, and browser ID. We do not collect real name data, location, including city, metro code, zip code, state, country, latitude and longitude, or area code, user metadata, or other potential PII except in instances where registered users elect to share that information publicly, such as profile pages, bios, journals, comments, or notes. Also, for Affinity does not resell, share, provide, or distribute PII to third parties except when required by law. Children's Privacy we encourage parents and guardians to take active roles in their children's online activities, interests, and development. The site is not directed or targeted to those under age 13, 
or age 16 for those in the EU or UK. We do not knowingly collect personally identifiable information from individuals considered minors by law. Cookies and tracking. We, as well as our advertisers, use small text files called cookies to provide account access to the site. A cookie is a piece of data stored on the user's storage containing information about the user. We use persistent cookies to remember your login to the site. You can read more about cookies at www.allaboutcookies.org. If you elect to reject cookies you may still use the site, but your ability to utilize certain functions may be limited. Common ID Cookie This site uses cookies and similar tracking technologies such as the Common ID Cookie to provide its services. Cookies are important devices for measuring advertising effectiveness and ensuring a robust online advertising industry. The Common ID Cookie stores a unique user ID in the first-party domain and is accessible to our ad partners. This simple ID that can be utilized to improve user matching, especially for delivering ads to iOS and macOS browsers. Users can opt in or opt out of the Common ID tracking cookie if they want to. Current status is opted in. Advertising privacy settings. For EU users only, when you use our site, pre-selected companies may access and use certain information on your device and about your interests to serve ads or personalized content. Aggregate information. We may track information that will be maintained, used and disclosed in aggregate form only and which will not contain your personally identifiable information. For example, we may collect IP addresses, browser type, and cookie numbers. We may analyze this data for trends and statistics in the aggregate, and we may use such aggregate information to administer the site, track users' movement, and gather broad demographic information for aggregate use. Disclosure We may provide your personally identifiable information and the data generated by cookies and the aggregate information to the vendors and service agencies that we may engage to assist us in providing our services to you for their use solely to provide us with such assistance. We will also disclose your personally identifiable information, a. if we are required to do so by law, regulation, or other government authority or otherwise in cooperation with an ongoing investigation of a governmental authority, b to enforce the fur affinity terms of service or user agreements or to protect our rights or c to protect the safety of users of our site and our services we will not sell your personally identifiable information to any company or organization but we may transfer your personally identifiable information to a successor entity upon a merger consolidation or other corporate reorganization in which fur affinity participates or to a purchaser or acquirer of all or substantially all of fur affinity's assets to which the site relates california privacy rights we do not disclose any personally identifiable information to third parties for their direct marketing purposes should this practice change we will seek your consent before disclosing information for a third party's direct marketing. California residents wishing to exercise access, data portability, or deletion rights above may submit a verifiable request via email to privacy at furaffinity.net. Verification and response. We endeavor to respond to a verifiable requests within 45 days of receipt. If we require more time, up to 90 days, we will inform you of the reason and extension period in writing. If you have an account with us, we will deliver our written response to that account. If you do not have an account with us, we will deliver our written response by mail or electronically, at your option. Any disclosures we provide will only cover the 12-month period preceding our receipt of the verifiable request. If applicable, our response will explain the reasons we cannot comply with a request. For data portability requests, we will select a format to provide your personal information that is readily usable and should allow you to transmit the information from one entity to another entity without hindrance. Links to third-party sites. Links on the site, provided either by Fur Affinity directly, through user-provided content, or advertisements, may point to external websites over which we have no control. Such links do not constitute an endorsement by Fur Affinity, and you acknowledge these links are only provided as a convenience and that we are not responsible for their content. Security. We may employ procedural and technological measures consistent with industry practice. 
such measures are reasonably designed to help protect your personally identifiable information from loss, unauthorized access, disclosure, alteration, or destruction. For Affinity you may use encryption, secure socket layer, password protection and other internal measures to help prevent unauthorized access to your personally identifiable information. We also have internal policies for the safe handling of data. We will endeavor to destroy your information when we no longer have a legitimate business need to use it, except for backups that are archived and retained in the ordinary course of business. Staying in control of your information, your rights. We respect the fact that your personal information is your information and will make it easy for you to manage and update your personal details. You may contact us directly on the site via trouble ticket or by emailing privacy at furaffinity.net for privacy-related concerns or to exercise any of your rights below. Any member can read one to me. Your right to rectification. You have a right to rectify, update or complete any inaccurate personal data, pending verification of your identification. Most of this can be accomplished through various settings pages on site, account settings, profile info or contacts in social media. Your right of access. You have the right to obtain a copy of all personal data that Fur Affinity holds about you, such as personal details or correspondence, generally, within a 30-day time limit and free of charge. You may limit the amount of data that you would like to obtain if you do not wish to access all of the records. Your right to move your data, portability. Under certain circumstances you can request that a data collector move your data to another service provider. This is not an automatic right, and because Fur Affinity provides unique services, it may not be able to honor your right to data portability. Your right to object to processing. You have a right to request Fur Affinity stop certain data processing activities that involve processing your personal data. This isn't an automatic right, and Fur Affinity's ability to restrict processing will depend on the type of data that for which you are making this request. You have a right request deletion. You have a right to request for Affinity delete your account and its personal personal data. This isn't an automatic right, and what for Affinity is able to delete will depend on the type of data held about you, whether it was obtained via consent, what purpose it serves, and whether for Affinity has an obligation to keep the data, among other criteria. Until such time your account is deleted you will continue to be considered an user, and we will process and retain your data as described in this policy. Deletions are permanent and non-reversible. You have a right to lodge a complaint with a supervisory authority, if you feel that further affinity is not processing your personal data in a manner that complies with the GDPR, you have a right to lodge a complaint with the supervisory authority of your country of residence. You have a right to withdraw your consent. For activities where you have provided consent to for affinity, you have a right to withdraw your consent at any time by opening a trouble ticket and notify staff. Note that where you remove consent we may not be able to offer you continued access to the services. However, if the consent relates to activities that are not strictly necessary for a functional user experience, your withdrawal will not affect your ability to use and access the services. Questions Questions, comments, or concerns regarding this policy may be sent via email to privacy at furaffinity.net. Users outside of the United States our computer systems and third-party hosting provider systems are currently based in the United States and may be located in other countries, so your personal data will be processed by us in the U.S. and other countries where data protection and privacy regulations may not offer the same level of protection as in other parts of the world, such as the European Union. If you create a user account with the site as a visitor from outside the United States, by using the site you agree to this privacy policy and you consent to the transfer of all such information to the United States, which may not offer an equivalent level of protection of that required in the European Union or certain other countries, and to the processing of that information as described in this privacy policy. And that wraps up the privacy policy section. Thank you guys for helping me read additional rules. Back to you, Gabriel. Okay, Mickey Garten will explain the code of conduct. Mickey, Code of Conduct. These standards apply to all aspects of fur affinity, such as social interaction and content that you upload to the site. Before opening a trouble ticket, please be aware that we neither accept third party reports nor act upon incidents occurring outside fur affinity unless a substantial and direct correlation can be made to an incident that is imminent or occurring on fur affinity. While personal screenshots, off site chat logs, 
and similar evidence will not be reviewed unless irrefutable, you may provide for Affinity web page screenshots using https colon slash slash archive dot today. If you are reporting a user who is harassing you, it is required that you block him via settings edit user page info block list before we can assist you. For Affinity does not mediate business disputes between sellers and buyers. If you did not receive or are not satisfied with your product, please seek resolution via the transaction facilitator, PayPal, your financial institution, or other civil actions. For Affinity site moderators will do everything they can to assist you in alleviating issues you may be experiencing on site with professionalism and without bias. However, if at any time you disagree with a decision made by a member of staff, you may request that your issue be escalated to a site administrator for review or contact appeals at furaffinity.net with your username and related ticket number. Rulings are made based upon staff discretion after thorough investigation and reviewing site policies. 1. The Law and You Rule 1.1 Do not encourage or engage in illegal activity. This includes but is not limited to drug use, excluding marijuana use, piracy, and copyright infringement. While you may openly debate the validity of current laws, you may not promote, encourage, engage in, plan, post or link to content or activities that violate federal U.S. law, or anything that could be used as directions for committing a crime. Rule 1.2 Do not discuss violent or sexual crimes. Do not discuss details or experiences of committing illegal acts involving sex, violence, or abuse against any creature, living or dead. Recounting and taking responsibility for past history may be allowed at staff discretion, provided that harmful or illegal acts are not cast in a positive light. Rule 1.3 Do not host or participate in any form of gambling. Gambling or games of chance are defined as requiring participants to pay an entry fee for a chance to win a prize, but are not guaranteed to get a prize. This may include raffles, sweepstakes, or lotteries. Contests where entry is free or where all participants are guaranteed to receive a prize are allowed. Rule 1.4 Do not encourage or engage in animal cruelty. While you may openly debate the validity of current laws, you may not promote, encourage, engage in, plan, post or link to content or activities that may constitute animal cruelty, or anything that could be used as directions for committing animal cruelty. Animal cruelty includes, but is not limited to, torturing or beating an animal, confining or transporting an animal in a way that is inappropriate for its welfare, killing an animal in an inhumane manner, failing to provide appropriate or adequate food or water for an animal failing to provide appropriate treatment for disease or injury, and failing to provide appropriate living conditions. Section 2, Other Users and You Rule 2.1, Do not share or try to obtain private information. This includes attempting to obtain through deception or posting privileged slash personal information of other individuals or businesses, such as social security numbers, unlisted contact information, addresses, credit card numbers, and correspondence, logs, emails, notes, etc. Rule 2.2, do not threaten anyone. This includes both physical and financial harm, theft or vandalism, eluded or explicit. Rule 2.3, do not stalk anyone. Stalking is the willful and repeated harassment of another user. This harassment may also come in the form of repeated communication, following, and gifts to an unwilling recipient. Rule 2.4, do not harass anyone. In this context, harassment includes creating an account with an offensive name, impersonation of another user, and remarks which discuss personal grievances, quarrels, malicious rumors, negative statements about, purposefully misgendering or deadnaming other individuals, and attempting to address or contact a user who has blocked you or whom you have blocked, including soliciting other users to pass on messages or otherwise make contact on your behalf. This does not include civil discussions about topics of public interest such as celebrities or government officials, but does include bewares and similar content. If a particular type of content does not appeal to you, then do not seek it out to make disparaging comments. Users with a pattern of this behavior may be cited for harassment. Rule 2.5 Do not promote, glorify, instruct, or encourage anyone to hurt themselves. Do not encourage other users to engage in harmful behaviors, including suicide, eating disorders, or other forms of self-harm. 
Do not give other users medical or veterinary advice that could result in harm coming to them or their pets. This does not apply to fictional works when used as part of a narrative. Rule 2.6. Do not engage in malicious content. Do not make derogatory use of caricatures, slurs, nor disparaging remarks about others' race, ethnic origin, religion, disability, gender, age, veteran status, sexual orientation or similar, or make maliciously misleading statements about cultures, religions, etc. This does not apply to fictional works when used as part of a narrative. Rule 2.7. Do not identify with or promote real hate, terrorist organizations, mass murderers, serial killers, and their ideologies. A hate group is one that advocates and practices hatred, hostility, or violence towards members of a designated sector of society, e.g. Nazism, ISIS, KKK, that are reflected in the real world. Users who identify with or promote real hate or terrorist organizations and their ideologies may be permanently banned from fur affinity without warning. This includes the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine, more on that later, Nashville bombing, and the Lebanon explosion. Rule 2.8, do not promote ideologies harmful to public safety. Examples include, COVID misinformation, anti-vaccination, QAnon. 3. For affinity and you. Rule 3.1, do not disrespect site staff or abuse the ticket system. Our staff is currently made up of volunteers who perform duties that are difficult and time-consuming. Please refrain from needless harassment, insults, and arguing as it interferes with the ability for staff to perform their duties. Keep contact with staff concerning issues with fur affinity to the ticket system. Do not misrepresent site policies or staff actions, suggest that you have special privilege with staff, or retaliate against other users over staff action. Triple ticket abuse includes opening multiple tickets for the same problem, using the prospect of a report as leverage against another user, and encouraging other users to create additional reports for the same violation. If you disagree with a staff member's ruling you may ask to have an issue escalated but may not reopen the escalated ticket after a ruling is made. Rule 3.2, do not engage in mature-slash-adult rated activity in general rated or public areas, such as profiles, journals, and shouts. Prohibited content includes erotic role-play, but excludes discussion of adult themes, provided they aren't explicit. You may review content ratings by accessing the AUP under Section 1.1. Rule 3.3, do not post links to content prohibited by Fur Affinity's policies. If you are not allowed to upload or discuss the content on Fur Affinity, then do not link to it, tell users how to find it, or encourage users to seek it out elsewhere. Violating this rule may also result in citation under the cite rule the content violates. Mature-slash-adult links are prohibited on general-rated or public areas unless the content requires a login or age verification. This includes advertisements visible on the target URL. Exemptions, AUP 2.8, 2.9, 4.1, and others by staff discretion. Rule 3.4, do not spam. We do not allow messaging with unsolicited advertising, promotions, or repetitive content that are unintelligible or intended to clutter pages with unwanted content. As a reminder, users engaging in excessive spamming as defined above risk having all comments, shouts, and or notes deleted and receiving a final warning or permanent suspension. Rule 3.5, do not promote cryptocurrency and NFTs. Fur Affinity does not allow for the promotion of cryptocurrency or NFT platforms. And finally, 4. Enforcement. Rule 4.1, Penalties. Failure to abide by the content of this document may result in the following penalties. You refers to you and all accounts you own slash operate. Can anyone explain those penalties to me? First level offense, you will receive a warning notice. Second level offense, you will be temporarily suspended for one day. Third level offense, you will be temporarily suspended for three days, usually one week. Fourth level offense, you will be temporarily suspended for one week, usually one month, and will receive a final warning to cease violating the relevant section. Fifth level offense, you will be permanently banned from using Fur Affinity services. Any future accounts you create will also be permanently banned. Rule 4.2, Stacking. 
only violations of the same section stack when concerning penalties. E.g. If you violate section 1.10 and then subsequently section 1.11, you will receive warnings both times. Rule 4.3, Escalation. Violations of the following sections may be escalated immediately to the fourth offense level, 1.1, 1.2, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.5, 2.7, and 2.8. These sections have been highlighted for your convenience. Rule 4.4, Blocks, Suspensions, and Bans. If for any reason, your account is suspended, banned, restricted, blocked, via users, or otherwise disabled by fur affinity, you may not create another account with the intent to bypass these limitations without our permission. Any effort to evade these limitations yourself or on behalf of another user may result in a suspension or the length of your current suspension being extended or changed to a permanent ban. When permanently banned, you may not use fur affinity as a registered user nor create accounts. And finally, Rule 4.5, Further Details. All decisions are made based upon your history, the severity of your offense, and the discretion of the moderator. If you disagree with the decision of a moderator, you may appeal his decision by opening a trouble ticket under the Dispute Administrative Action section. If your account is currently inaccessible due to a suspension or ban, you may email appeals at furaffinity.net. Disputes must be filed within six months of when the decision took place. And that wraps up the Code of Conduct. We'll discuss the upload policy next meeting. Back to you, Gabriel. Thanks, Mickey. As all of you may know, Adobe ended support for Flash after December 31, 2020. This means that Miniclip can no longer guarantee that PP Gas Mania will load and run properly after that date. That's why we have the Flash Player Emulator 2022 Chrome extension to prove it. Here we go to Kyle Smith for Nabry's Airways destinations and their start dates. Okay, this is a list of destinations that Breeze Airways has operated to as of May 2022. Originally established in July 2018, the American low-cost airline launched operations in May 2021. It operates a fleet of Airbus A220 and Embraer E-Jet aircraft on routes within the United States. Beginning May 25th until August 4th, inaugural flights from Los Angeles, San Bernardino, San Francisco, Fort Myers, Jacksonville, Orlando, Sarasota, Savannah, Las Vegas, Syracuse, White Plains, Nashville, and Provo will begin being serviced by Breeze Airways. And Provo is also a focus city for that airline. Which trip on Breeze would you prefer? Orlando, San Francisco, or Las Vegas? Take your pick. Mia Scheidenhelm, Kyle's crush, will now discuss the future of Avelo Airlines. Mia? This is a list of destinations that Avelo Airlines operates scheduled flights to as of May 2022. This list does not include destinations served by the airline's former branding of Casino Express Airlines or Extra Airways. The airline launched flights as Avlo in April 2021 and flies domestically within the United States with a fleet of Boeing 737 aircraft. For one month starting May 24, Boise, Chicago Midway, Baltimore, Raleigh-Durham, Wilmington, and Spokane will begin being serviced. Phoenix Mesa Tucson, Grand Junction, and Bozeman have quit being serviced. Orlando now has a base. Salt Seawolf will now give information regarding Darren Pipster's YouTube channel. On April 23, 2022, Darren's main YouTube channel got terminated for multiple third-party claims of copyright infringement. The channel had just under 7,700 subscribers at the time of termination. His channel was reinstated on May 11, 2022. And that's when Heidi, a Panasonic inverter, stopped working and unfortunately was supposed to be taken with the trash. We used Mia, a Danby, for 13 experiments, as well as experiments 342, 345, and 346, before retiring her, killed Ashton, a Black and Decker, via an airbag, and destroyed Julia, via multiple fireworks and firecrackers before she was repaired. Candy. Seltz's friend, will now discuss what happened this week during the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine. On May 9, 
a shopping mall and two hotels were hit by Russian missile strikes in Odessa, causing multiple casualties. On May 10, American Defense Intelligence Agency Director Scott Barrier said that both sides were at a bit of a stalemate, with neither side making advancements in the South and East. It was claimed that Ukraine had repulsed a Russian attempt to cross the Siversky Donets River. On May 11, Kirill Stramusov, the deputy head of the Moscow-controlled Kherson Military Civilian Administration, said that there would be a request to make the Kherson region a full-fledged constituent of the Russian Federation. Sloviansk Mayor Vadim Lyak claimed that Russian missiles hit two districts in Sloviansk. It was claimed that Russia had lost the better part of two or more Russian army battalions, including over 70 armored vehicles, attempting a river crossing of the Siversky Donets River for the second time in 24 hours. On May 12, Russia claimed that its forces hit two ammunition depots in the Chernihiv region. It also claimed that it had destroyed a Ukrainian S-300 air defense missile system in the Kharkiv region and a radar station near Odessa. Russia further claimed that it had shot down a Ukrainian drone near Snake Island. It was reported that Russian forces seized Robizn. Ukrainian officials claimed to have damaged the Russian logistics support ship Sevalod Bobrov. It was later reported that the ship suffered major fire damage on the night of May 11 and May 12 close to Snake Island. And finally, on May 13, Lloyd Austin and Sergei Shoigu hold telephone talks for the first time since the start of the invasion. All right, Candy, thanks for letting us know. If there is more information, we'll update on our next meeting. Now, a couple of announcements before the meeting is over, our Dofusky Island trip has been postponed again due to some important work. Also, Tailslin's manager and Saltz's mother, Kara J. Wolf, has made anything that is not suitable for kids private and deleted nasty photos on the community post. Be sure to check the website often and here is the link so check the link often. Link to Tailslin's toilet humor pics on DeviantArt is in the community post. Meeting adjourned.